Hey guys, welcome back. This is Faisal Khan from voicebootcamp.com. In this particular lab, I'm going to show you how to get started with agent desk settings, one of the very first tasks that we do in UCCE implementation. Control, uh, we're gonna, here we're going to learn how to control agent desk settings such as enable auto, ring, uh, auto answer uh, settings, ring no answer timeout, uh, emergency assistant, uh, assistance, um, uh, transfer capabilities we're going to talk about some uh, wrap up mode and things like that now you can access agent desk settings by first going to the configuration manager and here I have a configuration manager for example under tools menu I will click on least tools and the very first task is called agent desk settings now I have created two agent desk settings one is called India and one is for US now this agent desk settings in India basically is a glo uh, going to be allocated to the India agent and the US desk settings is applied to all the agent in US now uh, if I open my agent list in India cluster I have two agent uh, David and I have a uh, VJ what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one extra agent desk settings only for David. So we're going to call this India David Smith. All right. So the goal here is to create two dis two separate uh, agent desk settings, and we're going to test the features to see what their effects are. So when a David logs in, he will have a ring no answer of 18 seconds. So after 18 seconds, if uh, uh, he doesn't answer, the call will go to the next agent, for example. Uh, wrap up mode, we can say required or uh, optional. So we can say, uh, sorry, uh, optional. Uh, we can define a wrap up time, let's say 120 seconds. Uh, Assisted call, for example, if you want a David to transfer the call to supervisor because you need the supervisor assistance. Well, if you are transferring the call, do you want a consult transfer or blind transfer? Uh, consult transfer is better because you kind of get a permission from the uh, supervisor before you actually transfer the call. Whereas a blind transfer, you basically forward the call. So for emergency, you can say alert, emergency alert can be sent as a consult or blind again depending on for emergency most likely blind conference would make sense because you don't have a time for consulting anyone with anybody so that could be a one area we may we have to look at now if do you, when a call comes into david smith do you want his call to be auto answer or do you want david to actually press the button to accept the call some call center environment you may not have a choice you, you want agent to automatically answer the call and then start talking uh, but some age uh, call center where you know you want the agent to be able to press a button to accept the call now uh, i will se select the auto answer for david and i'm going to save this but for india i'm not going to have auto answer and for david he will have auto answer all right, so now that I've created my agent desk settings, if I, first, next thing, if I want agent, every PG that you add that happens to be a call manager or a PVX type of PG, such as uh, Nortel PVX or whatnot, you need to associate that PG with uh, agent desk settings. So I have a PG called India Agent Cluster and in that agent cluster i have associated default desk settings which happens to be india agent desk settings not the david one now every agent from india will have will have all these settings applied that are related to india agent, agent desk settings such as 90 seconds of ring no answer uh, wrap up time let's say 500 seconds uh, they both want blind transfer for both assist and emergency no auto answer however i will um, auto record on emergency uh, and then i will i can choose enable mobile agent 
Enable mobile agent gives a three option agent choose where agent will decide call uh, you know um, whether the call can be uh, must be nailed or not nail, nail connection or not you can do by call by call basis or nail connection where all the subsequent calls will be connected through the same line all right now that I've created my agent as settings both David and India with slightly different settings I need to apply that now keep in mind all the agent that I've created if I now go to agent list so this is my India I have two agent David and VJ they automatically applied by default to the India agent desk settings that is the default uh, settings apply to all the agent that we created under India however if I want the David to apply something different I can go to advanced and I can select in David Smith India David Smith so if I click on default it's going to rely on what is configured on the PG however here I can select an individual one so now I'm going to save so right now I'm going to open my agent phone I will also open the agent desk settings So this is my phone in India. Three. Let me check which call which call manager is pointing to. Yep. All right. So let's log in as a VJ. V Mali, Voice Bootcamp, three one zero one. That I believe is my extension right there. is the right uh, call my uh, agent Firefox so I'm able to use a Firefox to try to log in Okay, so agent VJ Mali has been logged in, so I can go to ready mode and I will now make a call to 2000. Thank you for calling Cisco Systems. One. Okay, you can see the call agent has been reserved and the call came in so now I have to click on answer until I click on answer right here it will not accept the call okay. now why did I have to click on answer is because if I take a look at my agent the default setting says no auto answer whereas the David I have auto answer so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you logging in as David so I'm going to log out All right, so David is now logged in. in. It's in ready mode. And I'll redial from my phone. Thank you for calling Cisco Systems. One, two, three, six. As you can see, the call just got answered right away. I, I did not have to press the answer key or anything. So not only have the option to apply an agent desk settings that is global but you can also apply agent desk settings per individual agent or maybe a group of agent if you need to so that's an option that you, ha you have all right so that's pretty much how uh, they uh, all about agent desk settings